Hey everyone, welcome to the Movie Throne Podcast. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you my season one finale episode review of House of the Dragon. And holy crap, I'm going to keep it short and sweet. I'm in shock a little bit. And I'm telling you, holy shit, we got everything. You got them declaring war against each other, dragons fighting in the air. There was a big dragon chase, especially near the end. The last five or seven minutes was stressful. You had that little prince twerp who lost his eye, who wanted to still exact his revenge on that little poor kid who was only defending himself at that time and confronting because uh, what Rhaenerys was, uh, wanted to do was send out the the princess, now queen, along with Damon, wanted to send three dragons to the different realms, you know, to see if they can get their allies back or who do they align with so they can decide if they should proceed with war. And they were just going as messengers on, you know, three little dragons and holy shit. Wow, I'm like in shock. Like, I can't believe what I just watched. And yeah, it was a chase scene. Like the kid just wanted to get the hell out of there. You know, and yeah, it was lightning, thunderstorm, stressful, flying, diving. And unfortunately, uh, big dragon catches up the little dragon in its mouth, bites the dragon, killing it. All you see is blood, wings falling from the sky along with uh, one of the princess's son. And I was like, wow. And then, of course, the news gets back. Damon brings the sad news to the queen, who's kind of still contemplating to hear back from all these people. And she literally turns around with Damon to the fire. She crouches down, like not crouches down, but she keels over. And you could tell she's in such pain. And, oh, my God, like she is pissed. She just lost her kid. Turns around, faces the table that's illuminated with the maps and strategy, and it cuts right there. And it's like, holy shit, she's out for blood now. She lost a dragon. She lost her kid. It's all out war. And now I think she's going to finally listen to Damon, who was saying, listen, you're only going to fight this war and win it and get the throne with dragons. They had 13 to 4 dragons. Now it's 12 to 4. And I think she's going to actually listen to Damon because Damon wanted to go to war there. The sea snake or whatever the hell he was called kind of like got out of his bed being crippled. He reveals that they own not only the waters that they took back from those creature looking crab guys or whatever you want to call it, but they also control the end. So what they want to do is suffocate King's Landing from getting any supplies surrounding him and forcing him to surrender. So now I don't think she's going to want to take any you know, surrendering from anybody. She's going to take them all out with her dragon. So we're going to see the fire and ice second season. So that's, I think that's what it's called. That's what the doctor told me what's going on there. But yeah, man, very epic on every scale. A lot of talking and dialogue, you know, bickering between all the different sides there in this episode until the last 10 minutes when things got really tense. But overall, liked it. Um, was expecting just a little bit more, but what we got was enough to last us for season two because we know we're going to be getting a season two. I just don't know how long it's going to be, whether it's going to be five months, six months, a year, two years. I don't know, but all I know, I was happy with the ending. I thought it'll be a little longer, but it's like an hour and maybe five minutes long or something like that. But loved what I saw. You guys let me know in the comment section below. Did you guys like it? Did you hate it? Did you enjoy it as much as I did? Did you expect more? Let me know in the comment section. So there you go, guys. That is my episode 10, a.k.a. season 1 finale of House of the Dragon review. Hope you liked it. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other TV reviews, my movie reviews, and any other content that I post right here on the Movie Throne YouTube channel. So until then, be the hell good. Stay off the King's Throne. And definitely tune in. More to come your way. Be the health good.